Hello and a very good afternoon. Good morning and welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. It's Sunday, can you believe it? Last weekend before Christmas, who's getting excited? Me! Um, and I'll tell you what, we've got a brilliant show on the way for you. We have got a masterclass. If you watch us all the time here on Crafters TV, you'll know what that's all about. We are gonna be bringing you inspiration, demonstration, tips and hints galore. Um, and we have got a fantastic um, uh, lineup for you on this show, which we're really looking forward to bringing to you. And we've got the twirling dies coming up, which I absolutely love. If you've not seen them before, you're going to fall in love with them very quickly, I am sure. Uh, but as I say, lots to uh, come on the show in the next couple of hours and hugely exciting because, you know, I keep forgetting because this, this is my third day in the new studios. So I'm kind of, you know, it kind of feels like home now, really. I'm getting used to all of that, the new cameras and the new sets and everything that's going on. But our crafty expert today, it's her first time in the studio. The lovely Debbie Fisher is here. How are you? Yay! I got a bed. I'm super excited. I'm just absolutely in love with our new studios. I can't believe how lucky we are to get to work in such an amazing set. It really is truly beautiful. Absolutely love it. And nearly Christmas to top it all. Absolutely. Yeah, what we now got? What day is it today? 20th. Five days to go. Have you, um, have you got your secret Santa present? I, I got it, yeah, under here. Have you opened it up? I had a peek. Do you know what it is? Yes. What is it? Am I allowed to say? As I don't it, know, are you? As it's alcoholic. Oh yeah, crack on. <laughs> it's a massive bottle of Baileys, my favourite tipple of all time. Whoop, whoop. I know. Who, um, who got it you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do you really not know or do you know? No, You're not I don't saying? know. Oh, you I don't? don't know. No, no, no. I don't know. So, Because, uh, um, mm. um, yeah, Craig is on the hunt for who got his. I got my present, but don't know who bought mine. I haven't opened it yet. It's under the tree. Did you buy mine? I didn't, Ben. Okay. Do you believe me? I don't know. <laughs> but I was just so disappointed because when I came in on Thursday, I got Fiona and obviously I'd played within the spirit of it, uh -huh. you know, not telling anyone. And as soon as I walked in, Fiona was like, oh, thanks so much for my present. And I was like, well, how, how did she, you know? How I don't did know. she know? I don't know. Somebody knows. There's like a mole. Well, mine wasn't really a secret who I bought for because I bought for the person that was organising it. So she had to know that I was buying. <laughs> So Kelly knows what I got her, so it was all on my head, wasn't it? <laughs> exactly. You, hopefully you got something good, if she knows. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, well, listen, we are here to have fun. We are here to uh, certainly educate and demonstrate over the course of a couple of hours. Um, so get in touch. Um, basically chat to us about whatever you want. We had some really random chats yesterday, honestly, but um, it was a lot of fun. So if there's anything you want to comment on, anything you want to uh, ask during the show as well, Facebook and YouTube, you can leave your comments. And of course, the brilliant thing is, if you do comment during this show and indeed later on Second Chance Sunday, you are in with a chance of winning, simply for commenting. Uh, we've got a 20 pound or $20 voucher to give away twice yeah two of them to give away and all you got to do is leave a little comment so it could not be simpler as always if you want to send in pictures as well any christmasy pics any uh more christmas jumper pics we want to see those or christmas sweater pics got told off yesterday for calling it a jumper christmas sweater pics christmas trees whatever it might be studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk um, lots of people already in. We'll say hello to a few people in just a few seconds, but I want to tell you about our raffle, which we've currently got going on. As a lot of you probably know, if you've been watching Crafters TV for a bit, we've been supporting the Bradley Lowry Foundation uh, this year, uh, a charity, UK charity, that um, helps with um, childhood cancers. And uh, actually, we've um, got this raffle going where you can pay either £2 or $3 to enter. You'll find all the details uh, via Bradley Lowry Raffle on our website and all profits from the ticket sales go to the foundation. Look at the prize, right? Look at that prize. 
532 pounds worth, 684 dollars worth. That is what you could win. There's a MIDI in there. We've got the craft boxes in there. We've got some of the um, classics in there. There's dies, there's uh, embossing folders. It is jam packed, is that? And that could be yours simply for entering. If you've already entered, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. The winners are gonna be announced during Creative Cravings on the 23rd of December. And here's the other brilliant thing. If you decide to yourself, do you know what? I wanna get a couple of tickets. If you buy two or more tickets, you'll be sent out one of our little Crafters Companion 2020 Christmas ornaments, which are really cute. They're a the little purple stocking and they've got loads of little crafty bits inside of them. They look great, they look great on your tree. Uh, and it's something that you can hang up year after year after year. There you go, all the details on the bottom of your screen there. So um, if you can, um, do get involved. We would love you forever. Right. Must say hello to uh, Diana from Indiana, who's in. Janet H says, good morning, everyone. Hello, Janet H. Uh, Crystal Miller says, good morning, everyone, from snowy central Pennsylvania. <laughs> Just thought of something else I want pictures of, if you got snow. Can you send in some, some pictures of snow? We ain't got snow up here. We just got a lot of rain, haven't we? Just rain. But we love snow. Pictures of snow, Debbie, what do you reckon? Yes, uh, studiocrafterscompanion.co.uk, pictures of snow, please. Oh, and even better than that, pets in snow as well. I uh, do love those pictures. Yes, uh, Crystal, send in pictures of snow, Pennsylvania. Uh, Janet says, love the shirt, Debbie, by the way. You all wear Christmassy shirt over there? Uh, yes, look, happy Christmas, yes. <laughs> Very sparkly. Uh, and Monica says, hello, Ben and Debbie, love your sweaters. Well, thank you so much. Pictures of sweaters, pictures of snow. It's time to get crafting, so let's go. Here we go. Uh, we are going to uh, show you what we've got on the show. These spinners I always absolutely adore and loving these even more today for the fact that you've got them at a cracking price. £47 or $59. Um, there's 104 elements within this collection. And what's so brilliant about these, and you know little old me, I love all of like the cheeky, quirky sets that we bring to you. And I love um, sets that allow you to make cards with motion, cards that do things I really, really love. And these, what they allow you to do is cut your aperture out of your card and then you've got your little character who you can attach with whatever you want really you know with some of that um, invisible wire or like um, like cotton thread you can pop them in the middle of the card and then they do a little spin around you'll see it uh, very shortly indeed but what I love about this is you've got everything that you need to be able to create those cards so within each set within the collection you're going to get your uh, die to cut out the aperture and each little character comes with their own shape which is so cool you've then got all of the dies to be able to cut out the stamps of the character again so you can color these to your um, heart's content we've actually got the tri blends on the show as well if you want to add those into your basket so you can color up your character uh, stamp him out cut him out and then add him to the card and get that spinning motion going on which is just so cool this is our little butterfly uh, beautiful friend hello uh, dream and big are your sentiments that you're going to get with that if you want to go for them individually bottom of your screen there 7.99 or 9.95 for your butterfly but i reckon once you see these in action you will want to go for the full collection next up is your bee look little beehive going on there you see look at his little smiley face as well really cute love that so again you've got everything you need to be able to um cut him out cut out the shape and then whack him in the middle and you can get that motion of the bee spinning around in your project you know if you just wanted to use these as is you know on your cards absolutely you could do that if you just wanted to use it you know the, the shapes there as kind of uh, mats and layers absolutely but the whole point here is having a lot of fun uh, with the motion of the twirl as it were uh, 7.99 individually if you want to go for your twirly be be happy be brave be amazing be you um, next up, we've got our little birdie here. Uh, again, so cute because he's got uh, the little heart. Uh, then you've got the little uh, letter as well because he comes with a little letter look, which again, you can um, kind of color up into your own design. Again, you know, if you're into your birds, you can turn this into whatever bird you wanted it to be really. Um, love, joy, uh, sending good thoughts. Again, you can make up your own sentiments. And as I say, the little bird's aperture is that gorgeous heart. 17 um, pieces within that collection, 7.99 or 9.95 individually. We have got these on a multi-buy for you as well. If you don't want to buy the full set, two for 13 or two for $16. Next up, this is my absolute fave um, because I do like cats. I'm a uh, bit of a cat man. And this cat 
uh, comes with a little aperture of a goldfish bowl and then you've got the little goldfish in there as well so you can cut it all out to make it look like the cat is peering into the goldfish bowl with the goldfish swimming around which I think is absolutely cool and look at the sentiments the dog did it just brilliant I love that uh, looking perfect Pawsome uh, and feline perfect. See what we did there? Just brilliant. Love the way that all of the sentiments match all of the characters as well. Easy little um, rabbit. That's almost sort of like um, sort of comic book esque, isn't it? The shape there, uh, which I absolutely love. Your little rabbit's got uh, bows and uh, all sorts going on there. Hip hop, hooray. Uh, thank you. And this bunny loves you. Then you've got your dog, and you know the cat was saying the dog did it, or the dog says the cat did it. Who did it? I don't know. The dog's in the doghouse as well. How cute is that? The little shape of the little house, and then the dog goes in there and spins around. So cute. And don't forget, then you've got all the extra dies to cut out the, uh, the bone and the ball and all sorts. It's just brilliant. There's even more in this collection. Is the elephant. How perfect would this be for um, new baby cards? Little uh, gorgeous elephant there, again, with the stamp and the die, and that beautiful um, balloon aperture. Uh, celebrations, thanks, hugs, big day, and surprise your stamps. And last, but by no means least, unicorns, always popular. Uh, it's unicorns and mermaids in uh, my household, and that's just me. Uh, uh, and this one is, have a wonderful day, magical and time. You've got that gorgeous unicorn with the rainbow as well. And uh, what do you call that shape? Like, um, it's like a pennant, isn't it? Is that what you call it? Uh, yeah, pennant. Is that the right word? Mm -hmm. I'll go with that. Pen is good. I'm getting nods from uh, Debbie and uh, producer Laura saying, yes, that is the right word. Go me. So that is the full collection for £47 or $59. Tremendous value for money. You'll have a lot of fun with that. And as I said, it, once again, it's a really versatile, a versatile set to be crafting with if you want to get the kids and the grandkids involved as well. Absolutely perfect let's have a little look at some finished samples with our debbie it's a really fun collection this debbie isn't it yeah they really are ben what i love about these is the aperture that you get with each one you get a different shape aperture with each one as ben just showed you but you can mix and match them so this little love bird here that we've got in the love heart uh, you could switch that out and use the love heart with the elephant or the love heart with the dog you can absolutely switch them around and i really love that concept now if i open this up with the little birds twirling round because they are just so much fun. Love it. So what I would say is when you make these, make sure you twiddle those round because then when the recipient opens them, Yay! they're going to spin, which look amazing. What I also love about them is the fact that you can make all these different concepts. You're right, that doghouse one is brilliant. Phenomenal. But also think of this aperture as a new home card. It's, you know, there's so many different ways that we can use them. And you're right, the unicorn is always a favourite with lots of people this would be a great one for a new Whoa. baby i know they really spin, spin. Just, and literally all you have to do is just keep spinning around spinning around spinning around and then close it pop it in your envelope when when they open them it's going to spin back round. so they look amazing my favorite is the elephant i don't Aww. know why i just think it's so cute you've got a birthday balloon in this one love that you can use that with any one of them so whatever animal someone likes uh, you just give them a spin that little elephant's going to go round there just look looks amazing. We've then got the butterfly one, uh, comes with that beautiful flower. So you can see where I'm going with this, with all those different apertures, you can use them for all your different makes and they just look gorgeous. Another one of my favourites is the bee. There's something just really lovely about bees, they're really on trend. Uh, we're going to show you how to do a card, uh, a little bit more advanced, but showing how we can use that aperture to make a background, which will look incredible. Brilliant. Um, so just a few more we'll show you. This is my card. fave. I, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Just having that cat in the goldfish bowl, it just looks amazing. Just really love that one. And let's just show a few more, just because I've got these cards in front of me. They just look so amazing. Such a good idea them. to pre-wind it up as well. I, oh, I've... yeah, absolutely. You definitely want to do that because there's nothing more fun. And also make sure that you tighten the string and make sure you secure it in place because once they've opened this, they're just going to keep twisting and twisting and twisting because they're going to want to see that movement all the time. Yeah. I love that we got the back. We haven't really looked at the backs, but you are getting the back stamps and the front stamps to create those cute little images. They just look incredible, Ben. 
Absolutely. Um, I, I love this collection. Always a big fan. Um, and lots of love coming in for these as well. Um, and Louise on Facebook saying, I used a masterclass to complete my family Christmas presents. Uh, so thankful for CC. Country Twinkle on YouTube says, fun cards to send. Um, and Wendy saying, still haven't made one of these cards yet. We'll have a go now. Uh, the Christmas stuff is out of the way. Absolutely. Um, get working with these. Um, Elizabeth says, are the characters in the twirling die set the same as the peekaboo one? Ones, wondering if they would work for a peekaboo card since you get a front and a back. I reckon you could put, could you, the characters are different, but I reckon you could yeah, interchange. They're all totally different. What you will find though is with the peekaboos on the oh, front, yeah. you only get the front peeking over. Yeah. So uh, you won't get the full body. So they wouldn't work exactly the same way. But what you could use them for is to have a peekaboo, uh, one of the peekaboos on the aperture at the bottom and then have your spinny one going round as well. So you can interchange with them they're going to look amazing there you go elizabeth ways and means definitely um uh, regina saying i appreciate cc offering this opportunity to donate so easy to do both this and the ornament that's the raffle that we've been talking about I'll tell you more about that later uh and carlene saying i have no christmas jumper but i do have a jingle bells necklace that lights up and plays and plays jingle all the way you need to send that in you need to show me we need to see that uh, carlene please please send that in um to our uh, to our studio we'll have a look at that definitely right let's see how easy it is to um put these together i guess it's fairly simple right yeah absolutely do we ever do anything that's difficult no. actually if we do do anything that's a little bit more advanced what we do have is the full backup of the team to show you through all these videos and don't don't forget you can watch back all our classes uh, on uh, online which is fantastic so what i'm going to show you first of all is the elephant one uh, in your pack when you open the box up itself you will get a booklet to start with now this is the one thing that's brilliant about crafters companion because you get your step-by-step instructions not only your step-by-step -step, you're getting picture instructions as well so you really can't go wrong it shows you how to do them and what to do so all your basics are in there you're getting that with each one you're then getting your set of stamps so not only are you getting your front and your back stamp you're also then getting all your different sentiments to pop on them and then you get those beautiful stamps in your pack so you'll get that shaped aperture you'll get an accessory die and you will get the little uh, animal die depending on which one it is now start off with I am going to use the balloon shape uh, I love this that we've got a full balloon that you can use on lots of different things so what I am going to use it for is I want to um, go through two layers of my card so I've just got some pretty papers here I found some balloon papers we did have that in one of our paper pads so you might have that uh -huh. uh, but if not we've got balloon stamps on the website so you can always uh, uh, go and uh, use some of those and, and stamp yourself a whole background so what I'm doing to start with, I don't want to glue, well actually I could glue it, but I want to mat and layer something else. So I'm just going to just roughly by eye see the centre of my card there and then I'm going to pop, in fact I can put my balloon in place as well. Now because I have my Gemini, I know that I'm going to be able to uh, cut through both the layers of the paper and the uh, cardstock. Yeah. And I'm just making sure that I've got all that in place. And then we're going to run that through our machine. Now these dies will work in any of your die cutting machines. Um, really, I would say from a uh, Gemini Mini, because I don't think any of them are bigger than three inches. Uh, but I would say an A5 machine. But I'm using my big daddy today. So the big Gemini. I didn't even check if it was uh, plugged in, but luckily it's all done. I should know and trust the studio uh, that it's all ready and raring to go, but shouldn't I, Ben? Especially in you know the new studio, the new craft house, everything is as you would expect it to be and more. And more. Yeah. I just squealed with delight when I come in this morning. <laughs> literally, really did. I literally did. I was like, ah! It was just amazing. It was my first time actually seeing the studio today. So I see it like you guys um, out there on Sarah's video when she was showing people around. That was my first glimpse at the studio as well. But to actually come yeah. in and see it in the flesh. And I was thinking today, Ben, if I got excited like that and I'm working here, can you imagine if we'd done maybe prize draws in the future and some people could, 
Yeah, eight. So you can imagine studio tours. Well, I reckon that, I mean, I don't TV. know. I don't think either of us know. Well, you might know, but I certainly don't because I'm, you know, I, I, I don't get involved in those sort of decisions. I'm a long way down the pecking order. But I'm kind of <laughs> thinking, yeah, exactly right. Studio tours, maybe live audiences, you know, craft alongs, perhaps. Live audiences. I love that idea. We've got a settee now in the set, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because that's the other thing, Debbie. We've we've only got um, only shown your side of the studio and my side of the studio, so everyone else hasn't really seen the other areas of the studio that we've got because we've got other sets that we can move into. You know, yes. this is the brilliant thing. We're kind of, I think, you know, not kind of showing our hand too early. We're just showing you little bits and pieces, and then you know, we then might expand over that way or go over that way. There's so much more to show you. We've got a second studio as well. I mean, it's all mod cons here, honestly. It's amazing. Yeah. So amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It, would de it definitely blew my expectations out of the water. Do you know what it was for me as well, um, just as you're, you're crafting along there, how quickly it all like, took shape? Because I remember mm -hmm. like, it sort of coming in here and seeing the kind of like the, the, the sort of skeleton shape of it, as it were. And then it seemed within like a matter of weeks, they, I don't know who they got in to do it, like Superman or somebody had come oh, in. Oh, they, they don't put mucker out, do they, Ben? No. Nah. Unbelievable. So I am just using my tape pens uh, to pop my uh, bit. So you can see what I did is I gutted out some Centura Pearl. Sorry, I wasn't talking while I was doing it, but you can you were watching. Um, just because I like to um, save any waste, I'm very frugal with my papers. Uh, and then I've just matted and layered, so that gives us an edge. And then it also goes directly over the top there. Actually, before I put that on, I'm not going to put that into place because I'm going to show you a little trick when we've done our, um, our actual elephant uh, spinning die so I'm going to take my spinny die and we're going to find a piece of card I thought I had a bit oh, here it is right beside me and we're going to um, I think we're going to stamp first so I'm going to take my stamps and I'm just going to do one of our elephant ones here and then we can show you. We've also got pens on the show today. So uh, definitely look into them if you're wanting to get into a bit of alcohol colouring. We've Will all the, the different animals go into each animal's um, aperture as well? Uh, yeah, ap yes. that's what I was saying earlier. So mix and match the, the apertures. Absolutely, yes. I mean, you might have someone that absolutely loves cats, but you don't want to put it in the, in the goldfish bowl. You might want to put it in the love heart. Yeah. Um, maybe for Valentine's or something like that. So yeah, mix and match them and, and swap them about. Yeah, absolutely ideal. So I'm just trying to find, I'm going to just bring in the stamping platform. You'll have to excuse me if I'm a bit all over the place, just finding things. Well, oh, absolutely. No, don't things. worry about it. <laughs> it, is, it is a bit like being in a new house, isn't it? When oh, you, it's amazing. You know, I was like a in. kid in a sweet shop today. And yeah. then um, Tracy, our, uh, our crafting angel, she was, she was saying, you can't touch that and you can't touch that. And I just wanted to touch everything. <laughs> Do you know what's quite funny? So particularly over your side, there's been lots of chat about um, not making too much of a mess on like the new the new counter. Um, who was it who had an inking uh, had loads of ink and stuff out the other day? Oh, Debbie, and T Debbie was getting so worried that she what was. What happened? Well, because no one wants to make a mess over your side. Be the first person to leave oh, a mess, and she had loads of. to make a mess. Uh, she, had, <laughs> she, had, she had the boarding cling film, so she didn't get ink all over the place. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's like when you get a new car, isn't it? You're sort of car proud for like the first two or three months, and then after that, you know, you kind of give up just a little bit. But whether oh, that will happen don't. here. I had a new car, Ben, and uh, well, not new, new, but no. I bought it second hand. Yeah. Um, and I love my car. It's bright yellow. It's so me. And um, yesterday, I was quite naughty on my drive up to head office I thought oh, I'm gonna treat myself to a bag of popcorn oh why not uh, yes but as I opened it oh no <laughs> it literally flew everywhere I, honestly I'll show you my car later it's terrible it's just popcorn everywhere is it still in there it's still in there well because I was traveling up late last night I didn't actually get here till about nine o'clock just you could after have, nine well I'll tell you what if we get hungry in between the show we'll, we'll go out to your <laughs> car and pick up the popcorn and get the popcorn <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just going to find myself a piece of card. Here we go, just down here. We're quite oh, it's really organised under here. We've all got our little card uh, department. Yeah. So we've got our white card and our stamping card and our watercolour card, which is nice. So I'm going to be using our um, uh, tri blend marker. So anyone that's not seen the tri blend, it is exactly what it says. You are getting uh, three different pens there. So you're getting three nibs. 
So here you go, so you're getting that tri-blend. Now what we've done is made it really easy for you. You can see you've got your light, your mid, and your dark color, which means we've done that three, three, three blend shade for you. Yeah. So when you're coloring with them, so if we start off with our lightest ones, just pop my lids back on, um, I can color, oh, is that my lightest color? I think I'm using a different one to what I used at home, but never mind, we will colour with this one. So we're going to go round and bring in, so we've got quite a dark um, elephant on here, we're using this as a grey one, where on the ones I've coloured in I have got a lighter colour. I think I've picked up my shades instead of my blends, that's oh, what okay. it is, yeah. But uh, not a problem, it just means we've got a darker elephant. So I'm going to colour all that centrepiece in. And then just going to blend in the dark one after. Why do you like the elephant so much? Why do I like the elephant so much? I think it's because, um, because of how big they are. Yeah. I, I just can't. They're sort of the next thing to me, like because I've got a bit of a thing for dinosaurs as well. Yes. Have like, you? I love, oh my God, yeah, I absolutely What's your favourite dinosaur? Yeah, no, <laughs> I just love dinosaurs. Um, I like all the Jurassic Park films. Oh, yeah. I remember when the kids were little and we used to watch all the uh, the dinosaur cartoons. Yeah. And, oh, I, I just think they were amazing. And to think something like that was real and was around. So I always think elephants are the next largest thing, aren't they, to a dinosaur? Yeah, I suppose so. It's I great. Don't... Well, I don't think it is sad because... No, it's not sad. Oh, I thought you said that's sad. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Debbie, you're so sad. God, you're dinosaurs. I thought you said that's sad, meaning the dinosaurs were extinct. That's why I thought oh, you said no. so sad. I, 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 oh, no, I didn't say that sad. <laughs> and if I had said that, I would have meant it to be sad that the dinosaurs aren't that's around. That's sad, like not, in dinosaurs. Not that you're a dinosaur geek. No, I like the old, I like the old dinosaurs as well. Yeah. Yeah. Old, just, I'm just so intrigued with dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, and those films are good as well, aren't they? The old uh, so Jurassic good. Park ones. Yeah, I could just watch them all the time, all the time. My wife's got into those more over the last few years since that um, Chris Pratt has started starring in them. I don't well, know whether there's, there's a, a correlation. Well, there's a very good excuse, yes, to, uh, yeah. to watch it. Yeah, especially, that's... yeah, they're the Jurassic World ones. Oh, that's they? it, yeah. She wasn't bothered until he, he started appearing in them. Now she's all into dinosaurs or all into Chris yeah, Pratt. Yeah, very, very sure. good reason, I think, to, uh, to watch the dinosaur <laughs> films. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame her, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So I have got, I'm going to change these afterwards because I have got in my darker colours, which is fine. But uh, these are our, sh uh, I'm not sure if we've got the shades or the blends on the show, but I'm pretty sure they're probably the blends. Yeah, we do have the blends. And I'm actually using the shades, so right. apologies for that. But I am going to bring in my two that I've done. So the difference is, and actually it shows a really good difference. You will be able to get the um, the shades on the uh, website. But the blends, will they go to the next colours up. So you can see this one is very faint. So we've got our really light colours. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got our dark colours. But actually both look just beautiful. Uh, and then we've got our dye here. So when you cut it out, you're going to get your uh, first elephant. So you cut that around the edges, cut that out, and that will give you this one. When you cut another one, you use the back of it, so you turn it round, and when you've cut that out, you then stamp the back one. Got so you. when you pop them together, you, they match perfectly well, and so when they spin, you'll find that they, oh, our towel's caught there, you'll find that they will spin perfectly round. Right, so what we're going to do now, Ben, between the glue, we're going to get some thread. So I'm just, I knew I'd do that. You know what? The thread is so fine. Is it the invisible thread that you've it's got? The, it's the invisible thread. No wonder you can't find it's it. It's the invisible <laughs> thread. <laughs> I knew that would happen. Oh, no. Hey, look, got it. I was going to say, I've got an old Christmas jumper it's on today. To if you be, can't find any, I could probably pull a thread out of this. It's somewhere, hasn't it? It's got to be. Oh, can you believe that? Right. Let me Well, I'll tell you what. Let, yeah, let, you, I will find it, Ben, okay. and you just do a few comments. I, I, certainly, I certainly will do that. There's lots of love coming in for these, actually, um, and saying the little animals also a great size for your pop-up boxes. Absolutely they are. Uh, those pop-up boxes are so great. So again, you know what? You could um, get all of the different animals, couldn't you? Get them on the pop-up boxes, uh, and away you go. Uh, Yolanda's saying, I love these dyes. And our Bernie's been in touch as well. Lovely Bernie, who was here yesterday, uh, says, hi, Ben and Debbie. 
I was so excited when I came in yesterday for the first time to It's Amazing Ooh, <laughs> studio tours, <laughs> fab idea. Oh yeah, I've always wanted to be a bit of a, I've always wanted to be a bit of a tour guide. You know, don the old like, you know, red jacket or something. And uh, on the right here, you will see Studio One. On the left, you know, what I, mean? I think I, I'd, be, I'd be well up for doing that. You know, a little bit, a bit of a side hustle. Anyway, um, keep those comments coming in, and we'll um, keep reading them out. Good news is uh, Debbie has found the invisible thread. Yes. Yes. It's, it's not invisible anymore because I've got myself a piece of black card Aha. and I put it there you go look I can see it yay <laughs> it had fallen on the floor so grab yourself a piece of thread now this is our card so all you need to make sure is your thread is long enough to go through this gap uh, I've then put I've just used my tape pen and pop that onto one of the sides and then I'm just going to pop that into the middle so I don't need to do any more than that and then we're going to add this to the back end. What I will do though is just pop another piece of glue through the center. Yeah. And then when we put that together, I know that that will fit perfectly well on our elephant and that will sandwich that thread through there. Now what I'm going to do is bring this back in and this time we are going to where I've put my I've already put some tape. I'm going to tape this into the center. So I've already taped down the, um, put tape onto the backing because I nearly forgot. So I'm just going to pop that into place and just go over that tape. So it just almost seals that even better into there. And then what I'm going to do is pull it down before I even trim off any thread. Pull that down straight. Yeah. So I know that's going to be really strong in there. And then hold that down. And then let's just pop that glue over the top. So that secures my elephant in there and that will bend, that will spin awesome. brilliantly. We're going to bring our card back into play. I'm going to keep that black card handy so I don't have any more invisible <laughs> thread going missing. That and paper works brilliantly there, like you say, with the elephant, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And then we're just going to pop that back onto our front there. And then all I've done to finish it off, I'm going to bring in my, um, I've got a piece of ribbon here, so we'll bring this into, uh, into play, which we're going to just pop at the bottom of our balloon. And then we've got a lovely uh, celebration, which is from, our, um, from the actual stamps. And we're just going to pop that over the top there. That's brilliant. And there we go. And if I just, let's uh, just move that round. Oh yeah, wind him up. Wind him up. So that's a really good tip. Always wind up. And yes. if I turn it to the front camera, um, when you open it, that's just going to spin round Whee! beautifully on the inside. And then all I did, if I just show you this one, uh, with my pattern papers, I then just used the balloon cut out on the inside as well. So you've got just that different variation. So uh, when you cut that out, I've, I've put that, oh, it's here, isn't it? Look, oh no, where's, there it is. So I'm just losing everything. But there's the bit that come out when yeah. you cut it before, which we put behind. But yeah, a really nice way to do them and a nice simple way to start with. And nice and quick as well. That's the other thing. Again, if you were looking at these and, you know, thinking to yourself, when, when Debbie was showing you the cards at the top of the show, and you were thinking, oh, yeah, I, I really like these, but I bet they're going to take ages to do. And I know we were, we were chatting away and, um, you know, we lost, the, uh, we lost the invisible thread, but actually you can put these together really quickly and they are just such super cards. Um, there's so many ways to buy these. Of course, if you want to go for them individually, you can. So if you just want to go for the elephant, in the comments coming in, it looks like the elephant is the, um, the most favourite so far. Uh, Cerise is saying, just ordered the elephant and the dog. Uh, Tracy's saying the elephant is adorable. But there are more characters, of course, as well. So you can go for them individually at $7.99 or $9.95. You can go on the multi-buy deal, any two for £13 or $16. And these are all of the characters. Good to know, as well, as Debbie was telling us, that you can interchange the characters into the different apertures so you're not always stuck with you know for here for example the butterfly um, in this flower aperture you can you can um, mix them all around depending on you know what you, you fancy really but you are going to get within the full collection your butterfly again with all the dies that you need to create the aperture and the dies to cut out your stamped images as well there's that bee who is just so much fun I think he obviously belongs in this aperture but you know what if you wanted to pop the bee into the heart you can do that as well because they all intermingle 
it all mix and match up. There's the beautiful little birdie there, sending uh, joy, good thoughts, hope and love, just a few of the stamps um, that you're gonna get in that collection. Here's my absolute fave, I think this is brilliant, the cat. I just love the aperture, I think it's so clever. Uh, that we've got the goldfish bowl, the cat looking at those goldfish. Uh, the dog did it, brilliant. Looking perfect, looking awesome, feline perfect. Then we've got this um, cute little rabbit, almost sort of like an explosion, isn't it, that you're gonna get of that aperture, so cool. And again, all the different characters are gonna look great in there because as we've heard, you can mix and max those in. Hip hop, hurrah, or hooray, uh, thank you, and this bunny loves you, No. Then we've got the dog, again, talk about cool apertures, so different. Do you know what, that's why I love, right, with this, is it could have just been, you know, a square or a, a circle or, or, or whatever, a simple shape, but no, we give you, you know, fun with the apertures as well. That dog house is just absolutely brilliant. Then there's the elephant that we saw just a few moments ago, um, of course, really cute little character, brilliant aperture of that balloon as well, and then all of those different stamps included too. And we're not done because we've got the unicorn, which I've got, I've got a feeling is going to be hugely popular. Uh, my nine-year-old daughter, as I say, mad on unicorns, mad on fairies, mad on mermaids. So I know she would absolutely love this. Uh, producer Laura just saying that the elephant is proving the most popular. Uh, in second place is the cat. Um, I always find though, as we, um, as we demo things here on Crafters TV, then everyone goes, oh, I quite like that one. And then that one then becomes the most popular. So we'll, uh, we'll have a look and wait and see what uh, Debbie's next demo will be. And that will probably then take the lead. 47 pounds or $59 if you want to go for the full collection. That's the way to go. I think if budget stretches, that's your best deal because you're saving almost 17 pounds or $20.60. Um, also worth mentioning on the show, as um, Debbie was saying, we've got the, the tribe lens. Now, um, again, we've got a full uh, sort of range of these, if you'd like, six piece sets. And the great thing about these, you'll know about these already if you're a, a fan of the, um, the channel, but it's all about giving you that blendability, all about allowing you to get the perfect blend of color because on each of the pens, You've got the light, you've got the, um, the medium, and then you've got the dark shade as well. And this just gives you a bit of an idea of um, the colors that you can get. I'll, I'll show you them um, individually in just a second, but you can see here how it all blends up for you that you're gonna get your lighter, your medium, and your dark to give you that perfect blend on them all of the different colors. And as you can see, as we go through the boards here, you know, your reds and your corals, your oranges, um, your uh, greens and your blues, these honestly are just absolutely perfect. If you have um, struggled with blending before, if you struggled with getting um, your colors right, these are just gonna make life so, so easy for you. Because as I say, within the collection you've got the full range of colors and all of the individual blends within each of the pens. So we say, you know, like the floral blends, for example, is a six piece collection. It's sort of more than that really, because you're getting um, 18 colors um, within the um, collection itself. So that, that's the point here, just giving you ultimate versatility um, and giving you kind of, um, well, ultimate blendability really. Um, those are your florals. Um, and as you can see, just to quickly show you, you've got um, all of the blend of colors within that. So you've got like your, uh, your bright pinks, you've got your lavenders and purples, you've got your dark red, your orange, and your citrus blend as well. But we've got the full range, as I said, your woodland shade, natural blends, they're all their coastal blends, uh, 9.99 per pack, six pens, 18 colors, ultimate blendability. I just think they're absolutely brilliant. And um, again, we'll be seeing more of those as we head through the show. Right, next up, you're gonna need somewhere to put them. Have you got a storage solution, Ben, I hear you ask? Yes. Of course we do. And this is brilliant, right? Because this obviously um, is a great little way to be able to carry all of your, um, your pens around. Nice sturdy design as always with um, you know, all of our carry cases and storage um, solutions. Like the fact as well that you've got extra storage on the back there as well with your zip. But the great thing about this is hook and mesh system on the front there. So you can pop all your pens in, as you can see, they line up absolutely beautifully and there's kind of um, you know, space for each one to go in. But what I also love about this is you've got the hook and mesh system on the side there if you want to be able to open it up. And then I think if you fold this then back, you've then got a perfect way to kind of like display all of your pens and, and have them there sort of ready for you as well. So as well as this being kind of like a, a bag to carry them all in, it's almost like a, um, you know, a way for you to have the pens right there when you need them. And as you can see, each of them has their own little elasticated uh, holder so you can keep those all in place uh, when you are using them. It's really cool. 39.99, you've got the ability to pop 48 pens within the carry case. 
definite perfect partner if you're going for any of the tribe lens. Maybe you've already got the tribe lens at home already and they're all over the place and you haven't got any storage for them. This is great because it, it is storage which is going to stay on your craft desk, but then for the fact of carrying these around, you know, when we can go back around to people's houses and go to, you know, craft classes and all these kind of things, that is absolutely perfect for that. Now, I'm very excited because uh, apparently lots of pictures are coming in of snow. We don't have snow here uh, where the uh, craft studios are, but there is snow uh, elsewhere in the world and you have been sending in pictures, so thank you for this. Uh, Lynn has just sent in this picture. Do we know where Lynn is? Oh, we'll try and find out. It'd be good to know where the, uh, the pictures are coming in from. I mean, this just completes Christmas really, doesn't it? To have a bit of snow uh, around about this time of the year, Pennsylvania. Lynn in Pennsylvania, looks like you've got a fair old, uh, fair old dust in there. I can't remember the last time it's, certainly where I am, I can't remember the last time it snowed at Christmas. Do you ever get snow at Christmas, Debbie? No, not no. at all. I would love it, absolutely love it to snow at Christmas. I want to live in that street in Pennsylvania. Look how gorgeous it looks. I know, just to sort of wake up Christmas morning and to have the snow there, get out, build a snowman. Uh, talking of snowmen, by the way, uh, Sheila has sent in a picture. This is Whoa. Maryland. Um, again, a couple of little, uh, looks like the light up snowmen there, but look at that snow. Just amazing. The thing is, snow is great, isn't it, when you don't need to go anywhere? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I bet it looks so magical, doesn't it? It looks so pretty. Right, now, Crystal, you need to come back to us here because we've got your photo. We don't know wow. where you are, apparently, though. 16 inches <gasps> of snow. Wow, that's loads. <laughs> Somebody get me to my tomoggan, seriously. I would be out in that on my sledge. Oh, wow. I think Santa must be there somewhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Look at that. <gasps> That's a lot of snow. That's big snowman territory, that, isn't it? That is big snowman territory. What was that, Laura? Bean bags? Oh, bin bags. Bin bags for a sledge. Really? Does that work? Mm. <laughs> uh, it's slippy. <laughs> well, well, yeah, absolutely. I don't know if we've got a sledge, actually. It won't snow anyway, so it doesn't matter. But, but here's the point. You know, if, uh, if it does snow, I'll just use a bin bag. Imagine you get to the kids. Can we go sledging, Daddy? Yes, here's a bin bag. <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry, that was actually Laura's childhood. Bin bags are a great idea. I always went sledging on a bin bag when I was younger. Yeah, but we wouldn't recommend them, Ben. No, we wouldn't. No. Don't, no. no they don't. wouldn't protect your bottom. Oh. They definitely wouldn't protect your bottom. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. The producer Laura said, yeah, you only went down once. I was going to ask you, how's your bottom? But I won't, because that's, that's rude. Um, right, moving on. Uh, keep your comments coming in, by the way. Uh, anything you want to know, anything you want to um, show, you can uh, get in touch with us. All the comments will go into a hat at the end of the show and uh, we will be drawing out two winners. We've got £20 and $20 vouchers to give away to shop with us here at Crafters TV. So just comment, just say hello. That's all you've got to do and you could be a winner. Pictures as well, please. Uh, any more snow pictures, absolutely send those in. Studio at craftlesscompanion.co.uk and if you were also one of uh, the people who used to sledge on bin bags, then um, let us know your stories as well. Maybe you're out <laughs> sledging on your bin bags today. We'd love to see pictures of those. I, I, right, uh, I, what you got for us next, I Debbie? I just had a thought, actually. It what? could be completely random, but actually, bin bags come in rolls. Yeah. You could actually make a sledge out of them if you stuck them all together. <laughs> oh, what you mean, get the actual the rolls? The actual and... roll, yeah, and then stick them all together and make a sledge. <laughs> we should do, right, before Christmas, a masterclass where we take a load of bin bags and you build a sledge. Oh, I think we should do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's we'll, do it. Let's do it. Let's speak to Sarah tomorrow and we see what she says. <laughs> um, anyway, we're not doing that right now. And right now, we're concentrating <laughs> on your spinner characters. We've seen the elephant then. Who are you going to pick next, Debbie? Yeah, so we're not sledging, we're spinning. We are. We are so we're going to be doing the cat. Uh, I love it, I adore it, it's so lovely. So if you're a cat lover, this is definitely one for you. So yeah. we've got our stamps, our back and our front. We've got our die set at the ready. I've already stuck some um, paper onto my um, cardstock. I'm gonna do a slightly 
slightly different uh, one because what I do love about anything like this, especially aperture cards, is being able to do completely different concepts. So yeah. we're going to do a different concept with this one. So first of all, I'm going to pop my um, die in the center. I'm not really doing any measuring, but if you are someone that likes to do your measuring and wants to get it exactly in the center, then feel free. I'm going to just pop some low-tech tape uh, into that so we've uh, got that already and then we're just going to run that through the Gemini. So I'm using again my big Gemini but you can use your A4, uh, sorry your A5 so your Gemini your Gemini um, Junior yeah. uh, would be ideal for these dies so anything from an A5 and above. Um, I would say that you could use your Mini but then you wouldn't really be creating a card with the aperture you'd just be getting that uh, actual die cut from there. But to create a concept card, you would definitely need to use uh, your junior or up. Isn't it so cool, though, that the apertures are applicable to the particular animal? As I said earlier on, we could have just given you like a, a square or a circle. I just think that this one particularly is, is brilliant. The fact that you've got a goldfish bowl for the cat, I just think... It's such a cool idea. It's a really good idea. But what I do love about this, Ben, is this. And I'm going to bring my black card in mm. um, because you can see it better. But actually, this can be a lot of things. This would make a... Can you see I've stuck my um, thread onto oh, here yeah. so I wouldn't <laughs> lose it. I didn't want to lose that again. Uh, this would make a lovely vase and you could have flowers coming out of it. Snow so, globe. A snow globe, yes. Look at that. It yeah. would be a nice snow globe. Yeah, a lampshade. Lampshade, a light. yeah. There's lots of different ways that you can uh, use these dies. So these are really great fun to use. So we've got our, um, but we are going to use it as the uh, goldfish bowl. So we've got that out of our centre. Next, we're going to do our cap. So what I've already done, just reaching across here, I'm bringing in my stamping platform. I've already just popped a piece of card onto there, popped my cats in place. Good job I checked because that one's upside down. Uh, just check those ones. Yep, that's fine. Uh, put them all onto there and I'm just going to pick these all up and then we're going to do a bit of stamping. Now what I am using is our Vanessa alcohol proof die. So when you are doing any sort of stamping, make sure you're using the correct ink pad that goes with your medium of what you're doing. So for instance, if I bring my other one in, you can see this is our waterproof die. If you were doing any sort of water colouring, you would use this ink pad. But as I'm doing alcohol, it says what it does on the tin, it's alcohol proof. Got so you. I know I'm completely safe with using this ink pad and being able to use my alcohol markers. So I'm going to ink all these up at the same time. We're getting lots of comments now coming in of what people use instead of um, sledges. Um, oh, I love that, yes. <laughs> so, uh, we'll, we'll watch this demo a bit further and then um, I'll read some of these out. I mean, seriously, Laura, I don't know what you started here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I will just carry on. Um, I'm going to just do some colouring, so um, yeah. I'll let you read them out then. <laughs> uh, producer Laura just said, that's a lie, surely. I've just, you, you use an ironing board to go sledging on. Turn it upside down as a student. Can I just say, we're, um, we're, we're going to we'll, we'll, we'll watch Debbie's um, uh, colouring first, and then I'll read these out once Debbie gets going. <laughs> <laughs> so what I've switched to now, uh, Ben, is I've stripped to our brush markers. Now these are exactly the same as what I've been using, apart from they have a brush nib. So in fact, let me grab this one and yeah. this one so you can see the difference. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this one obviously is the brush, then we've got the, our bullet nib. So whichever you prefer is which ones you go for. So if you haven't gone for either of them, both of them have their qualities. So obviously with a bullet nib, you've got that really beautiful hard nib. But if you then want to go with a soft nib that strokes, which and it really does just uh, tickle your card. Yeah. I mean, you get that variation and that's what you get from the nib. So I'm gonna switch into hit these uh, for our cat. Uh, which is the uh, brush markers. So I'm just going to blend in. You hardly have to touch yeah. the actual cardstock. You get so much ink from them that it's, they're beautiful to work with. You will know exactly what I mean once you get them home and start doing your colouring. They are just gorgeous. These are definitely not the pens that you would allow your children uh, to uh, to use mm. because you wouldn't want them to put too much pressure on right. your nib because you, do, you really don't need to uh, apply any pressure. Um, Enchanted Craft Fairy was just asking, what, do you know the, um, 
the card or paper, the, the weight of the card which you cut the fishbowl from? Uh, so actually, I'm going to bring this in. This one is our um, white stamping card. Right. So it's 300, 300. GSM. And then I've put the, the paper pad, believe it or not, actually, which I quite like this one, is from Sarah's Glistening Snowflake. Oh, OK. So it's a Christmas paper, but I thought it looked like sort of water yeah, in I, the yeah. background. So I've used that. And that, I believe, is about 160 okay. GSM. So actually, we've got four, that's cut through 460 uh, GSM. What I would say is, it's, I mean, a lot of that is the pressure of the Gemini because I know that will cut through. If you've got any other die cutting machine, yeah. what I would suggest is just putting it through twice. Um, right, so we'll continue to watch the colouring. On the sledge front then, or sleds, uh, Laura, this is, this is just typical Laura. Laura says, I bought uh, sleds two years ago. We haven't had snow since. Yeah, <laughs> I did exactly the same. We had that really big uh, burst of that was in this country, I'm assuming. Yeah, um, because a couple we of had, years ago. That was about two years ago, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, and we had masses of snow that like never before. Everything was shut. The schools were shut. They yeah. shut like we got a day off work. It was like yeah, everywhere you couldn't do anything. And we bought a sleigh as well, which we had, and, and yeah, never used it. <laughs> um, don't try any of these suggestions at home, by the way. Um, Lynn Christian on Facebook says at college we would steal the cafeteria trays and oh, sled the hills. Great idea. I love that. So dangerous but fun. <laughs> yes, um, absolutely. Crafty AJ on YouTube says we used to fill bin bags with straw on the farm and use them as a sledge. See Laura, that's what you should have done. Oh, you didn't have any straw available though. Because then that protects <laughs> your buttocks then, doesn't it, you see, when you're sliding. Um, yeah, there's never any straw around when you need it, is there, eh? Uh, and Tracy on Facebook says, we used, to, we used metal garbage can lids for a sled. That is a good shout, actually. Because yes, they sell them like that now, don't they? Because I'm used to like a, you know, like a proper toboggan as a sledge, but they sell those ones that you literally do just sort of put under your, your bum and then you've got your hand, the handle which sort of comes through your legs and you just, off you go, don't you? Off you go. Well, there we are. So, you know, if you were looking for ideas of how to sledge today, you are welcome. Bin bags, straw, cafeteria trays, and garbage can lids. <laughs> uh, but um, please sledge responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, don't want any accidents or to hear about any accidents before Christmas, yes. that's for sure. <laughs> ben told me to take my garbage can lid off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I said don't. You know, don't blame me. Yeah, it'll all end in tears. Yeah, be like, Mummy, I heard them say that on your computer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't. It's not big, it's not clever at all. So I'm just using a mixture. So I'm going between my, this is my bright oranges and my tans as well. So just going between those sort of colours uh, to create that beautiful cat effect. Um, and then what we're going to do is just bring in my little die cut here and put that through. Now, because we didn't cut the other one, I'm going to show you how beautifully these cut out. All you need is to pop these in into place and then we'll just run that through. I'm just going to switch out my plates for my Gemini Junior plates. So then that will take less time to go through the machine. Joyce said, had to hop on here and tell you about sledding. We used old car hoods and talk about a bottom basher. Whee! I guess there's not really much, is there? So where, where would you get them from? I suppose a scrapyard? Mm. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, you would. You would, I suppose. I can imagine that's not very, if you've got a bony bum as well, it's going to be quite, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, and Karen says, if you put cardboard in plastic trash bags, it makes a great sled that will hold up all day. There we go. Ah, yes, lots of things, lots of different things. I do like the bin lid one. I think that's really good. Yeah, it is a good uh, idea. So we've just cut that one out that I've done there, and then I've got one that I did earlier, which is this one. So we've got our back to front. And again, we can pop those together, and they will match beautifully well. So no problem at all. And then we've got our piece of string again. I'm just going to cut this one off to size. So let's pop that there and there, just so I know I've got enough. So for the, for the string, you know, invisible um, thread, uh, like cotton. So I'm actually using cotton. Yeah. I find cotton is the most durable and it spins really well. Um, I would say anything like you get fish wire. Oh, yeah. That's a really good one. And I've also used, and I'm sure you've heard me say this before, I've used dental floss. 
I've not uh, heard that. And it's brilliant. It's really, because it's strong, it doesn't break. So uh, it's an ideal and it smells nice. So <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, there better. you go. It's a win-win. So uh, you'll have a nice minty, minty fresh card. A smelly spinner. A smelly spinner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in a good way, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in case yeah. you've just tuned in, a smelly, a smelly spinner Maybe is sm used with dental yeah. floss. Smelly's That's not a good word. a bit of a mouthful, that is. A Fra smelly, scented smelly spinner. spinner. Smelly, smelly scented spinner. Smelly scented, smelly scented spinner. spinner. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to give up on that one, Ben. <laughs> I'm going to bring my black card back in because I can't see. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that I'm holding it. It's hard to see thread, isn't it? There we go, and pop that on the center. And then all I'm gonna do is, there we go, just put that glue over the top, pop some glue on the other side, and then pop those back in. The other thing we used to do, being creative as kids, our, my dad always made uh, the neighbourhood kids um, skateboards. Skateboards? Not, no, no, not skateboards. Um, oh, um, like go karts. Go karts. Go karts. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know if they could do that now. They're so, they were so dangerous. Uh, we had this like pulley rope that that would just put a stopper on the wheels. It always used to turn us upside down. It was very dangerous. But we loved it as kids. Go down the hill and had these like rope to, to steer it. You know, we used to, like a, like a pulley sort of rope as you do your go kart. So hey, you wouldn't be able sure. to do that nowadays, would you? Health and safety. <laughs> I'll yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to do it with health and safety nowadays, would you, Ben? Uh, no, no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Things that, it's like, because you can't do conkers nowadays either, can you? Oh, can you not do that now? No, you can't take conkers into school anymore. Oh, of, I didn't um, realise that. But then I suppose that is that was probably quite dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> You're not Ben, are you? Producer Laura's is saying, uh, I, well, not, I'm not a world champion conquer player. Do you play, do you, um, here's a question for our American viewers. Do you do, you, do you conquers and play conquers in, in America? Well, I suppose, do they have conquer trees? Conquer, conquer trees, conquer they're not trees. conquer trees. They're um, horse um, chestnut, aren't they? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you get, you get the conquer and then you thread the string through and then you, you uh, yeah. Um, well, like, no, I'm not a world champion, but I went to the world championships about 10 years ago. Wow. And um, I, I got through to the, um, the last 16. I'm sure I've told you this story before. That's amazing. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, oh, yeah. There is a video on YouTube. There's oh, a 10 wow. minute documentary of my, of my time there. Um, Are you telling the truth? 100%. It's not, a, not like a documentary that anyone else made. It's me with like a, a camcorder. I was like getting random people to film, to film me um, do it. Um, I was, I, well, that, well um, George, our director, said was there ways to make your conquer stronger. You couldn't take your own conquer. You had to take, you had to use the conquers that they gave you. So it was all like a level, level playing field. But yeah. Oh yeah. You just think I'm a, you know, sort of run of the mill presenter. No, world records, world championships. I'm multi-talented, me. So do you know all the tips and tricks? Like, because we used to always say, like, you could um, heat your conkers, like if you put them in the oven for a certain amount of time and if you drilled the hole a certain way. And is there all those sort of tips and tricks? Well, there are, Deb. I mean, how do you think that I, you know, was nearly a world champion? Now, you, you, don't, you don't get to those sort of levels without knowing <laughs> all of the, the hints and tips and tricks. And I, I couldn't divulge, you see, because, you know, it's years of study and training and reading up on it. So I can't, I can't you know. I can't, I can't divulge that on live TV. <laughs> well, what I think I meant is, is it true that there's all those uh, tips and tricks with conkers? Because I didn't know. Sometimes they're old wives' tales, aren't they? Is it true? That's the, uh, that is the, the, the question. A oh, uh, well, world champion conker player never reveals his secrets. <laughs> I love it. Look at your cat. I know, look how cool he's looking. Woohoo! away there. And then we've just got some fish. So with the fish, we're just going to, I'm going to use my uh, glue, uh, chunky glue, as our Debbie would call it, our other Debbie. So our um, 3D Kalau glue gel. So it's just giving that dimension. I'm then just going to pop my, I'm going to just use my fingers just to curve that because I'm going to pop this at the bottom and then we can just add our glue into place. Just popping that in the corner, perfect. And then we'll just put a couple of our fish inside the actual aperture. Like you say, that paper works brilliantly, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, and it's that. amazing how you think of Christmas pads, but there's so many of our Christmas pads um, that have papers that you can use uh, for so many different things. Let's pop that one in there as well. And there we go. So that's our, um, our little um, dome card there. I love yeah. that. Really, really cute. And again, make sure when you oh. send him. Oh, <laughs> make sure you I've send him. Bun him on his head. <laughs> he is. You <laughs> wind him go. up and off he goes. Just great again, isn't it? Just brilliant. A um, few suggestions coming in as well with that shape, because obviously Debbie was showing us earlier on, you know, it could become like a, um, uh, uh, what did I say? Like a snow globe, uh, lampshade, gumball machine. A lot of people are saying as well for that, uh, for that aperture. Yeah, so many ideas. They can double up uh, for lots of different um, things, which is just brilliant. Uh, lots of comments still coming in about sledding. We'll have a look at those again in just a, uh, a few moments time, but let's show you the, uh, the tri-blend brushes, which we got just a little sneak peek of. Um, again, with these, you have got a, um, a whole collection of them. Details on your screen now for your, your summer sun. Um, and as Debbie was um, explaining to you there, so these are the, these are the, the, the brushes as opposed to your, uh, your normal tri-blends. Still work in the same way for the fact that you have got the three different blends. You've got the ability to you know, really get that um, perfect blend with these. Um, and this is your, uh, your summer sun. So three colors again, but remember nine really because you're getting three within each pen. Uh, you've got in there your um, coral blend. You've also got your uh, true blue and you've got your, what's that last one there? Uh, oh, gold yellow. There we go. So they're $9.99 each or $14.95. Also on that deal is your um, autumn hues. Once again, uh, with that brush nib, with the three different colors uh, and those three blends per pen. Uh, in this one, you have got your burnt orange, you've got your dull green and also your golden brown. Then we can bring to you your winter holiday. This is absolutely lovely. Uh, this one brings you the colors, uh, green turquoise, you've got your blue turquoise and your uh, pink violet in there as well. Again, $9.99 or $14.95. Cottage Garden is um, the next. Again, three pens, don't forget. Uh, nine colors in total. You've got your bright pink, you've got your light green and your purple blend uh, within that collection. Uh, then we have got the, what's next? The Woodland Walk. So this is uh, your greens and your browns. Uh, you've got your uh, citrus green, you've got your alpine green and that uh, earth brown as well. Um, then we have got two further ones to show you your natural tones and your uh, classic chic. Natural tones is your, um, your fair skin. You've got your tan blend and you've got your pale pink in there as well. And then you've got your classic chic, uh, which is dark red. You've got your brown gray and you've got your uh, ice gray as well. Just to, sh to show you the boards as well very quickly so you can see for yourself all of the different colors that I've just shown you on the boards here. So those are the blends, those are the different colors. And as it, again, you can see that on each of the, uh, the colors, you've got your light, you've got your medium and you've got your dark. And here you can see how those blends just work absolutely uh, perfectly to give you, as I said, the, 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 the best blend really, and to really, really help you um, with all of your coloring, to give you the, you know, the best opportunity to get the best blend. Uh, 9.99 or 40.95 individually, as I say, uh, you will have a lot of fun working with those. Right, running out of room, Danny. Um, let's have a look at some of your comments coming in. I've really enjoyed um, all of the comments about the, um, the sledges, actually. Um, never meant to be talking about that. I'm sure I have got, some, got one somewhere. Um, but if not, I, I, at least I've now got a few different ideas. Oh, my tablet's frozen now. What's going on? What's going on? Come on. Come on. Go on. Hang on a second. There we go. It worked. Um, Mary Lee says, here in Colorado, this is about the um, sledging. The kids often use a car in a tube. Works very well. Uh, yeah, like a tire in a tube. Uh, Lisa on Facebook. In Idaho, my husband's 10 brothers pulled all the grandkids fast sleds behind four wheelers to their mother's dismay. Uh, <laughs> I remember uh, one nephew, about eight years old, um, flattening out on his sled. Oh, <laughs> Planning out on his sled, accidentally whiplashed under the edge of one of the parked trucks and he popped up on the other side yelling, I'm okay, mum, let's do it again, dad. 
I wonder where that story was going then. When I started reading, I was reading like whiplash and accent. And, no, apparently, kids, very resilient, aren't they? But do not try that at home, whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, Lisa. Um, and on the subject of conkers, Mary Lee says, I have a 60 foot tall conker tree in my front yard. Didn't know the, uh, the conkers game until I visited England. So there you are. Um, wow. The, the things we chat about on this channel, eh? Uh, don't forget, if you want to get in touch with us, send us uh, any more comments. Facebook and YouTube um, will get you into the draw to win a £20 or $20 voucher, which we'll do before the end of the show. Look at that, we're over an hour in already. Where does the time go? We also want your pictures too as well, please. We love seeing your pictures. If you've made any projects with the spinner collection, we would love to see those. Send those in. Whether you've used them as the spinners, whether you've used them with the pop-up boxes, used them you know, just individually, send in those pics. We'd love to share your makes. Any more um, bad taste Christmas jumpers? As you can see, got another one on today. Um, De I was going to say, Debbie's got a bad taste jumper. De Debbie's jumper is very nice, very good taste, fashionable jumper, not like this. Um, and also pictures of snow, please. More pictures of snow. We love those. Uh, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. So, uh, we are looking at uh, the spinners in your masterclass today. Hopefully, you're loving all of the hints and tips. Again, if there's anything that you want to ask, now is the time to do it. That's what we're here for when it comes to the uh, masterclasses. £47 or $59 for the full collection. Uh, and as you can see, these are all the characters you're gonna get. So you've got your bee in there, you've got your butterfly, that cat that we saw on the last demonstration as well. It's just brilliant. There's a bunny, there's a dog, um, there's a unicorn, of course, as well. The elephant is super cute, who you saw in the first demo um, about an hour or so ago. All of the characters I think that you would want. And of course, don't forget, they all come with their own um, aperture shape. They're all interchangeable as well. Lots of you going for the main bundle, but if you want to, you can go for them individually or you can get them on a multi-buy as well. Um, whichever way you want to go, there is something for everybody with this collection. And honestly, as you've already seen, you will have a lot of fun uh, putting these together as well. So we've seen an elephant, we've seen a cat, What's going to be Debbie's next demo? I'm going to try and second guess here. I reckon it's going to be the unicorn. Oh, no. Ben oh. thought he was being clever because he see the unicorn on top here. <laughs> but, but, it, but it isn't the unicorn. I just wanted to show you just a few more extra Yeah, absolutely. Because they just look so much fun. So anyone that's just joined us, these are the sort of things we're going to be making. They are really fun. They are spinner dies, which Whee! if you wind up before you give to the recipient, they are going to spin when they open them. It's just one of those really nice surprise things that they do. Each one, as you can see, comes with a different shaped aperture. They just look incredible. The B one's so cute. In fact, they're all so cute. Um, being able just to create all these different types of dies. This is the one I'm going to be doing next, is the bird one. Of course. Uh, I do love the little bird. And what I really like about it, and with all of them, is you can colour them whatever colour that mm -hmm. you want to do. Now, I'm going to be creating this little card. And you can see by creating two totally different birds there, we've got like a robin and a budgie all in one. So whatever you choose that bird to be, that's how we're gonna create him. So really great samples that we have. The design team are always super fabulous because they just do us the most amazing cards. We always know when they like a concept because we get so many of them, just far too many to even show you even throughout two hours because yeah. we do have loads of samples which are amazing. So what I have done is I've created a nice little stepper card. So all I've got is a five by five card uh, and I've added, I've cut it out of an A4 card. So I've done a 10 inch and then added an inch and an inch on. So we've got 12 inches and I've just done that by five inches across. Uh, and then I've scored at five and then I've scored again at 10 and 11 inches. And that just creates a nice little simple stepper card, which is super cute. I've then got my piece of card. Uh, I could stick that on, but I want to keep it free because um, I like to then be able to stick behind it, especially with cards like this are thread and then it hides your thread which oh, yeah. makes it then 
become invisible. So what I'm going to do with this one is open it out. We're going to use our die pack. So bring this one in. This one's a great one. Not only do you have all these little, you get three different love hearts. You also get this little one here, which is your letter. And you've got a stamp. So if I bring in the stamps there, you can see you've got your stamped envelope uh, that you can send a letter to. You've got the stamps that coordinate with the stamp hearts. And then you've got your back and your front of your birds. And along with that, if I turn it the right way, you've got all your different sentiments there. So good thoughts, send in hope, joy and love. Uh, so all of those will mix and match and you can send whatever sentiment you want to. So you're getting your aperture die here. Again, this heart one is going to be the, the one that you're going to use with any of them that you've got because uh, it just works for so many different things and anyone's love of what they uh, like. So whether it's birds, elephants, um, the dog, the cat, they're going to be able to do all those. So going to bring in my platforms here. So just in case anyone, we haven't really, let's have a recap on, um, on our boards. So we've got our, um, our base layer, which is our cutting boards, which we're going to lay this onto. Uh -huh. I've then got my plastic shim, my magnetic shim, and then my top plate. And we're going to run all those through the Gemini. So just uh, offering it into the Gemini. Uh, if anyone did want to treat themselves to the Gemini, maybe not before Christmas, but afterwards, uh, it is an electronic die cutting machine. It's hands free, which yeah. is great. It's really easy. It takes it all through for you and cuts it no problem whatsoever. So taking these out, oh, there we go. And then just bring in, oh, it's stuck somehow. So I must have some sticky stuff on my, um, on my mat. So bringing this one in and that will give us our aperture. So just taking my tape away, just be careful if you're using um, pattern paper because it can sort of take your coating off. So um, yeah. just be careful when you're removing your sticky tape. And it is low tack tape. We do have low tack tape. If it's not on the show, it will definitely be on the website. We, so yeah, what website. we can then do is uh, I'm going to switch to my tacky glue. It's our winter sale on the website, of course, by the way. The Lord has said summer sale. Yeah, not summer. A summer sale. Oh, yeah. yeah, wishful, wishful thinking, thinking, absolutely, it? yeah. yeah. So, summer, definitely a winter sale. 70% uh, off on selected lines as well. Yeah, and I said this, I said this um, yesterday, I know a lot of our crafters will probably have like a crafty budget, you know, the amount that you think to yourself, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to spend that each month. I mean, you probably blow it anyway, don't you? To be honest, <laughs> we're going to do what we've got here. But if you've got to the end of this month and you're thinking, oh, I've only got a few quid, a couple of bucks left, we've got prices like down to, I think one of the items that we had yesterday was like one ninety nine, two two bucks ninety nine. I mean, seriously, really, really uh, low prices. So if you fancy treating yourself. I also think as well, it's a good time to shop if you've asked for um, money, because a lot of people now just ask for money at Christmas, don't they? So if you know you're getting a bit of a Christmas money, get on the website now whilst the prices are down low. What what you ask for for Christmas, uh, Debbie? Do you do you write do you write lists at no, all? No, not at all. I'm one of those really easily pleased uh, people. Oh. I um, I just love the fact that if anyone wants to buy me a present. Oh, <laughs> well, that's true, isn't it? I'm more of a giver. I love giving presents. It's just uh, because I'm also, I like to put a lot of thought into presents. Yeah. I don't like just giving a present for the sake of giving a present. So um, I do like to think about that person. So I do love to give presents. No, honestly, I'm not really, I'm almost a little bit embarrassed when I get presents. Really? Yeah, let us really? know if you're like that. It's almost like, yeah, I think, oh, d d someone's bought you that present. Sometimes yeah. they're just, yeah, really, I get quite touched by your uh, presents. But I'm happy now I've got a bottle of Bailey, so I don't need anything more in my life then so uh, well, I'm completely Christmas sorted, sorted then isn't it really uh, yeah it's sorted yeah it's a big bottle too is it <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it though actually over the years I've, I've got more joy out of Christmas I think out of giving um, yes especially when especially with kids as well I just love to make sure they have a good time oh, and if, do you know so what I mean? It sounds so. really corny, that, doesn't it? No, 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 it? it's not corny at all. It's, it's exactly how it should be. For me, yeah. I feel incredibly lucky that all my children are grown up. Yeah. I don't feel lucky because they've all grown up. I feel incredibly lucky they're grown up and I now have grandchildren. Yeah. So I, ha I have a grandson, which I don't see because he lives in Mexico. 
and uh, but I do see him on Skype like weekly. I mean, yeah. I'd see him every week. I've seen him grow up. So we've just got that type of relationship. And then I'm lucky enough to have two gorgeous granddaughters who I just absolutely adore, uh, and I get to spend Christmas with them. Yeah, so, uh, it's the ma you know what? No word of a lie. I haven't um, last sort of four or five Christmas Eves. I've not been at home because I've been, I, I've been doing pantomime. Not doing it this year, and that's what I'm looking forward to the most. Like the whole kind of build up because um, our kids do the Santa oh, tracker yes, to see where Father totally, Christmas is, yes. and then you know putting out all of the um, the goodies for Father Christmas on Christmas Eve. I I just can't wait for that. That's what I'm really looking forward to. The magic of it. Yeah, the magic of it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, your children are a bit older now, aren't they, Ben? But I'm, my granddaughters have a Santa cam, and they true. It's brilliant. It, it's like a little beacon, yeah. and it's on the top of their unit, and it, it flashes. And they honestly, my my eldest granddaughter is five, and she believes Santa's watching her all wow. the time. And it's it's so magical, so magical. I can't even begin to explain. Uh, if you've got, if you have Santa cam, because I'd never heard of that before, people being able to get a Santa yeah. cam, a pretend beacon that they pretend is Santa. So let us know if you've got them for your children or grandchildren, because that's amazing. They're just yeah, just so cute. But she truly believes, and it's a brilliant way of bribing the kids. <laughs> Honestly, because yes, but he's Santa's always watch watching those yeah, Santa, my isn't he? Like, he is. Ruby, Santa's watching he's you, and she'll look and watching. go, "Oh, and she'll just, can I help you, mummy?" <laughs> <laughs> I had the question, I think, I think it was probably maybe a couple of years ago, you know, that whole thing of, um, you know, make sure you, you're good because Father Christmas is, you know, he's always watching you. And um, I think it was my daughter who came back and said, he doesn't watch when we're in the bathroom. <laughs> I like, no, I don't think, if you're on the toilet, I don't think he can watch, you know, but anywhere else, oh yeah, he's always, always, uh, always watching. <laughs> so but I just cute. love it when, they, you know, they still uh, write their letters and... Um, yeah, I, I just can't wait for it. Really looking forward to it. Oh, you know, that's not to say, you know, as much as I'm saying I get a lot of enjoyment out of making sure, you know, my kids have a great Christmas, I still like to get a few presents as well. You know, you know, just a few, just one or two. Oh, so, presents uh, are lovely to have. Yeah. I've got yeah, my Secret absolutely. Santa one from here as well to open, which I haven't, and that's under my tree now. So I shall look forward to that. Have oh, you is. not opened yours then, Ben? See, I didn't open. I just, mine was in a bag and I had a little... Um, uh, a little uh, peek in the side. But I'd guess what it was because of its weight and the shape yeah. before, and I was just like, oh, someone knows me well. Yeah. Debbie, our other Debbie, because both of us Debbies, we love our Baileys. Um, so Debbie would be very jealous. But saying that, she put her picture of her fa face masks that she got for her. Uh, Secret Santa online. So you got uh, what face masks? Did you sit? They were amazing. I don't. What, I think, handmade. I think Joe got hers. I'm pretty sure Joe must have got hers. Oh, it wasn't Joe. I'm being told. Um, one's got a picture of Debbie saying, "What am I like?" <laughs> That is brilliant. It's, it's just a brilliant gift. Yeah, brilliant gift. I loved it. Oh, I love that. Love yeah, that. Yeah, I was a tinsy wincy bit jealous, but then I haven't really got a um, a punchline like Debbie. She has got a what you like. Oh, a little catchphrase, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, a little catchphrase. Yeah. Yeah, not punchline. But you got a huge bottle of Bailey, so you know who cares? <laughs> Bailey's, Bailey's. Booze. <laughs> yeah, booze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's not go down that line again. Yesterday, yeah, now we booze. <laughs> I think we're all alcoholics here. That's all we were talking about yesterday was gin and whiskey. We're talking oh, about Bailey's gin. today. They're very gin drinkers up north, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, well, no. well, I, I do love gin, but um, not as much as Bailey's. Mm. And also, I know it's really bad, um, but you, uh, I have like a tall glass of Bailey's. You're only supposed to have like little one. And oh I yeah, do, uh, yeah. Well, you know, like a like and a sherry, you're, you mean? When you're in a um, when you're in the pub, they can't serve you more than two at one time. You can't like have you can't have a big glass of Bailey's. Well, you ever have a pint glass? Do you? <laughs> yeah, you can't have a pint yeah. glass. A pint of Bailey's. <laughs> you can't have a pint glass of Bailey's as much as I would like one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. But I didn't know that. I thought you could have more than um, <laughs> more than what you what they're willing to give you. <laughs> oh, that makes me sound terrible. And actually, I'm not a big drinker at all. But I do love Bailey's. But um, yeah. Just one of those things, isn't it? Yeah, just one of them things. Right, so I'm going to bring in, yeah, just one pint of Baileys will do for the night. So here's our, um, <laughs> <laughs> our front and our back. So that's another thing, is it? What's your favourite tipple? Wow, here we go. Here we go. What do you like? Um, 
Uh, so right, we've got our back and our front. I love the fact that we've got these, especially on these spinner dies. Uh, they would act as if you were doing them in your peekaboos as well, so you could mix and match, but uh, these are gonna act brilliantly for what they are for. Um, then I'm gonna take my little piece here and we're gonna make sure Oh, I love pims. We've just been told that Alison and her husband loves pims. I love pims. Do you know that pims is gin as well? Is that right? Yeah. I've never really bothered about that. I always I, I, like when oh, you get to, a when you get to weddings or something like that. You always yeah, get one. I, I don't drink. know. I've never. I think it's because they, they put like a like a vegetable garden in there, don't they? Pretty much. They just, I don't like, like the mint in it. And the cucumber. Cucumber and though and... actually does complement the mm. um, complement it. Not, Not that I'm any expert on the it sounds like expert on pims, expert on Baileys. <laughs> oh Leanne is definitely an expert on gin. Yeah. And prosecco. Gin and prosecco. Yeah. Yeah, my daughter's a bit of a prosecco queen. Yeah, well, same as my, my wife. Prosecco princess. Loves the prosecco. Yeah. I'm not a I'm not a big wine or um, champagne or anything like that. I don't that's not my thing. Yeah, Alison said, my husband and I have just started drinking Pimmed. Uh, two o'clock, oh, Sunday afternoon, that's all right. <laughs> Bailey's is so yummy, says Christine. Oh no, um, do you know what's happened, Ben? Yeah. We've driven them to drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, you started it. <laughs> um, and Bernie just saying on Facebook, the best present I get every year is spending Christmas Eve with my family. Um, my mother is 93 and I'm so blessed to have her. Uh, she's my best friend and I had... I had her help me make my cards this year. Um, she really so got lovely. into it. So that's, yeah, that's lovely. Brilliant stuff. Oh. Yeah, so nice. It's certainly a nice thing to do. And I do hope that lots of you get to spend time with your family because I know it's a difficult year for lots oh, of people. Oh, isn't it? Year. Bit of a strange one for sure, but... Um, but next year will be, will be the biggest Christmas that anyone's had, won't it? Biggest and the best. Absolutely. Yeah, you just have just to make... do big street Christmas parties street next year. Street Christmas parties, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's the, um, the thing, isn't it, this year? You just have to kind of like make, make the best out of whatever situation you've got, I suppose, really. Yeah, um, totally. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and thank goodness for the old technology, because that's all come into its own this year as well, hasn't it, actually? So, um, yeah. And actually, what's nice about that, Ben, is so many of the older generation now have learnt to use yeah. all this technology, which they probably wouldn't have done before. So at least now you get to spend that time still with them, even though it's on a, a video call. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So but, I'm just um, going to trim off my excess and all I've got now is I've got some little envelopes here. So I've got that little envelope and I've got a few hearts. So I'm just going to stick these on and just add those little embellishments. I tell you what I loved as well this year, just um, thinking about Christmas and the situation that we're in. Um, it was, was it on the radio I heard it? But um, there was one uh, little girl who was um, worried about um, all the situation and with, with Father Christmas and whatnot. So it was, somebody suggested, it was a politician or someone suggested that um, when you leave out, uh, you leave out your presents, not your presents, but your mince pie and a sherry for Father Christmas this year, leave out some hand sanitizer as well so that you can, you can sanitize oh, uh, each of the houses. So that's the, that's that is the thing really to do. Lovely. Everybody this year, mince pie, sherry, and hand sanitizer, and, hand sanitizer. and then everybody's uh, even Father Christmas is safe this year as well. So there yeah, you go. And never get back home with all those uh, hand sanitizers in his sack. Well, that's it. That's it. <laughs> there we go. You've wound up your bird. And then there Way. we go. And there he is. So nice and easy to do. They look beautiful. I absolutely, I just love the spinning dies. There's no better way to have something that spins to make someone happy. Absolutely, um, they are just brilliant. And again, with that bird, for example, you know, you want to make that Christmas, you can decorate him like a little um, little Christmas robin, can't you? These are fantastic. Loads of you are going for the full collection. I'll, I'll recap on all of that for you in just a little while. And of course, we've got the individuals and the multi buys for you as well. Uh, but let's remind you of Club Inspire because that's our little club that we have here at uh, Crafters TV, and it's a brilliant club because it saves you money. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. 
As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery courier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. Um, love that card, by the way, says uh, Mary Kay Noll on Facebook. More inspiration. Um, and everyone's, everyone's talking about uh, their favourite tipples now. Uh, Susan on Facebook. I like a Mexican coffee. Coffee coffee flavoured tequila. Coffee, whipped cream topped with chocolate shavings. Be quiet, for wow. goodness sake. What is, that is. Oh. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. I was just saying while you were watching that video then to uh, Debbie, feeling quite hungry. Now I'm hungry and I want a drink as well. So let's move on. Let's move on and talk about uh, this amazing raffle that we're doing. You know that we're supporting the Bradley Lowry Foundation um, here at Crafters TV, a, a brilliant charity. You can read all about it on our website. Uh, search for the uh, Bradley Lowry Raffle and that will take you to the page where you can buy a ticket for this raffle. It's two pounds or three dollars per ticket. All profits from ticket sales will go to the foundation and look at all the goodies that someone is going to win. It's a bundle worth over £530, over $680, and it is amazing. There's so many goodies in there. Uh, of course, you've got your um, crafty tote, you've got in there your midi, you've got in there dies and stamps and embossing folders. There's um, markers in there as well. I think there's the classics I can see up the top. It is a huge bundle. Someone's got to win it. Why not? that person be you. We're going to announce the winner uh, during Creative Cravings on Wednesday, so not long now. Get your tickets. It's only a couple of quid. It's only $3. And I know, you know a lot of people probably say, tight for money this year, but this is a great way to kind of um, you know, give back and also be in with a shot of winning a great uh, prize. And also, if you buy two or more tickets, you'll also uh, get the stocking uh, decoration for free as well, our 2020 stocking, um, which proceeds of that will go into the Bradley Larry, Larry Foundation too. So pl plenty of reasons uh, to get involved and we'll keep our fingers crossed that you are our winner uh, when we announce that winner on Wednesday, just after four o'clock. Right, let us get back to uh, the spinners. Get your comments in, by the way. We've only got, I reckon in about, it'll be about 25 minutes time or so we'll be announcing our winner. So 25 minutes to get your comments in. You know what we've been chatting about today. Uh, so you can join in on that chat. Facebook and YouTube, any questions uh, you want to send in as well, we'll uh, try and have a look at those for you too. Um, and also, if you want to send in your pictures, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. I mean, I'm after pictures of snow still, to be honest with you. Um, I, I love seeing the snow. Um, so send in those pictures. May, maybe if you've got pictures of you tobogganing, and also maybe if you've got pictures of um, pets, because we've got the dogs and the cats in this collection here, pets in the snow. I mean, you can't beat that, can you? So yeah, if you can send those in. I know I'm asking a lot of you. You're probably there, like, I'm just trying to sit back and relax, and you're saying, comment, send this in, send that in, goodness sake. Uh, but if you can, that would be great. Thank you. Uh, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Right, let's go back to this bundle and uh, quickly whiz through the boards that you're, um, 
well, you're not going to get the boards, the goodies that you're going to get uh, within this collection. 104 elements in total. And you, you've seen the premise here, um, brilliantly demonstrated by our Debbie, for the fact that, you know what, it's a simple premise to create really, really interesting, cute cards. Love cards with motion and mechanism, and that's exactly what you've got the ability to do with these. You've got the different aperture for each of the characters that you've got within the collection. The stamps, which correlate with the dies to be able to cut out your characters, colour them in, um, you know, use a bit of your uh, invisible um, thread, your cotton, whatever it might be to, to give you that spin and away you go. These are so much fun. For each and every occasion as well, you'll be using these time and time again. You know, the, the, it's not a collection you use, you'll use once or you know, a certain time of the year. You'll use these all year round. You've got in the collection, our oh, little butterfly comes in a flower aperture. There's that bee. I mean, come on, that is just so cool, isn't it? Um, and again, I love the fact with these as well that all of the sentiments you get um, that they correlate to the animals. So again, look, be happy, be brave, be amazing, be you. There's a little birdie that we saw in that um, last demo as well, sending uh, good thoughts, sending love. Um, and of course, don't forget, as we touched on earlier on, you can interchange all of the animals within the different apertures. So obviously the little birdie comes with a the heart there, but that's not to say that you can't put the cat within the heart. Um, the cat does come with the goldfish bowl, which I just think is so cute. And um, each of the sets comes with um, little mini stamps and dies as well. In this case, of course, goldfish bowl, bowl, goldfish bowl. You've got the, uh, the goldfish to go with it as well. That is brilliant. And I love the sentiments that you get with the cat. There's our rabbit again, uh, loads of smaller dies to go with the actual main character there's the die of course to cut out the rabbit and of course your aperture as well again hip hop hooray is the sentiment there really cute the dog is amazing how cool is the dog house i mean seriously just brilliant the cat did it i woof you look at that I want for you. Oh, so cute. Um, then we have our little elephant. Again, if you want to see a demo of the elephant, the second demo that Debbie did, uh, read about an hour ago, I would say, if you want to rewatch the show, great demo um, with the elephant. And that really cute. Uh, balloon aperture that you get and last but by no means least everyone loves a unicorn and the unicorn comes with that really cool uh, pennant aperture and the rainbow as well have a wonderful magical day and time all of those for 47 pounds or 59 dollars less than 20 percent if you're a club member uh comes down by what, another nine pounds 40 doesn't it isn't it yeah nearly nearly 12 dollars just doing the casual maths on that, it is amazing. And remember, no matter where you are, as a Club Inspire member, you won't pay that price, which is brilliant. And loads of you going for the full collection, because that's where the value for money is. If you want to go for the individuals, you can. If you want to go on the multi-buy, uh, we've got a multi-buy deal for you too. If you just want to go for a couple of these, uh, then there are options, whichever way you want to go. Um, Marilyn just says uh, on YouTube, I received three shipments yesterday. Yes, I received my Black Friday deals. Wow, I was overwhelmed by the amount. Such incredible prices. CC, thank you. Well, you are welcome and glad that you're getting um, lots of goodies in time for Christmas as well. Right, let's crack on and get on to demo number four, I want to say. I reckon this time it's going to be Unicorn. I thought you got it then because you were going, going to be... Oh, the bee. Bee. Oh. You got it then. Well done. <laughs> okay, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're also going to do something uh, with the apertures. Now, what I've done is I've cut out nine of these. So nine different apertures out of this gorgeous yellow cardstock. So this is from our textured cardstock pad. So you'll find that on the web. Um, I'm going to use um, my some black cardstock. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a background using these. So this is a little bit more of an advanced project, but a really fun project to do. So pick yourself a sort of side where you're going to start. So what I would say is if you start on the left hand side and then just work your way across. So all I'm going to do and then what, what you need to do is as you start layering these, don't worry about, so let's say we're going to pop these here and the one at the bottom. All you need to do is make sure you just glue it to the black card because you can cut, if I bring this up a bit, sorry, I got that out, you can then cut that extra off, but you can then start to layering them up. So what I'm gonna do to start off with, I want to create uh, an aperture into my card as well. So I'm gonna start by using, I'm gonna bring in, I think, yeah, I've got that here. I'm gonna bring in my Kalau All Purpose because that's the glue that's the most repositionable um, before it dries. 
it's rock hard when it dries, but it will give you wiggle room, which is always a good thing when you're doing this. So what I am going to do is just apply that to the back and then pop our first one into place. Uh -huh. So just popping that right up and I'm going to make sure that goes to the edge of my card. Now make sure that that's straight, although you could trim your cardstock down afterwards, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to work quickly to get the next ones down, because if they're not straight, it still gives us that little bit of wiggle room. Yeah. So we don't have to worry too much. I'm going to try and leave the sort of same amount of gap around each one. And then we're just going to go around layering them in. It's just quite a nice way to do a bit of a different background. Now I have put that on the whole one without realising, but all I'm going to do is if I turn this over the back where that is, this wipes away. So, and it will just peel off. Now obviously if you've got sensitive hands, just you, be careful, but look, can you see it goes to like rubber? Oh yeah. So you just, you can just wipe that away, which is why it's such a good glue in where you put it. And then that's moved slightly, so I can still, I've still got that time just to wiggle that into place. And that's all done without having that glue on the back here as well. So really good glue to use for this sort of effect. Just gonna, just bring those round. I should put my glasses on really, Ben, shouldn't I? But oh, you should definitely put your glasses on. <laughs> I've not seen you in glasses until just before the show, and they were really, I don't like them. I like your glasses. I should put them on, shouldn't I? Because then I can see. If I put them there, they are. So let's pop my glasses on. So you see, oh, I can, I can see so much better now. <laughs> I, I like those glasses. <laughs> so what I am going to do is, now what's really good about this is, the actual die is slightly inside the rim. So when we put it there, we can put it straight up yeah. to those dies there. So we know that is in a perfect position. And then I'm going to lay my tape down, just your low tack tape uh, into size. And then we're going to cut this one before we do any more. Because then what should happen is all the rest will fall into place. So pop in that in and pop that through. So as that's running through, you've got your three that you've worked out what's in the on the side, you've got your aperture going through, and then we can fill in the gaps all around. So it then creates the aperture for your spinny die, but gives you this really unique background just using those aperture dies. So taking these out, pop that to the side, and then we can take this one out there. So even if these have slightly moved, yeah. it's not a problem because they'll all be in the place that you've got them in. And then we can start filling in these gaps. So I need to pop this one here. Do you know what this reminds me of as well? Do you remember the TV show Blockbusters? Yes, that's exactly what it looks like, isn't it? So the, I'd not even thought about that until the, then. It was the, it was the gold run at the end that they used that. to do when they used to win two games and they used to get on the spot and do the, the gold run across the board. Yes. So good, wasn't it? I used to love it. I love a pee, please, Bob. What, what, I loved, <laughs> what I loved about it, so anyone in America that doesn't know, I don't know if you get blockbusters in America, actually. You'll have to let us know. Um, but it was a, um, a board game with uh, college students, I believe, wasn't it? Or school students. Yeah, it was, yeah, uh, a two were on one team and one were on another team. Yeah. And that's what I loved about it was the fact that it didn't matter whether there was two players or one player yeah. because you would still find that... Um, the one player sometimes would uh, but come out winner. The one player had um, didn't have as far to go to get a blockbuster, though, did he or she? Did they had to go down the board. Uh, yeah, they could go. Well, they could go anyway, couldn't they? But I think it was four down and five across because you had to get across. Basically, you had the shapes that you see in there. You had like um, they had like a letter on them, and that letter was the answer to the the question. Yeah, but it was I think like a, it was the one the single player had to come down, down and, and the, the others had to go yeah, across. Yeah, so it was four yes. down, five across, and it would be like. I don't know, it, it was an R. Uh, what, what R does Father Christmas use to pull his sleigh? You know, reindeer, whatever. And you used to have to like, go across the board. And then, did they win? I can't remember, did they win money? I can't remember. Um, they did. Yeah, I, don't I, know now. I don't think they won money. I think it was prizes, was wasn't it? it? But then at the end, what, yeah, no, it was, you're right, because they won two rounds, and then, like you're seeing here, they, they had the gold, did the gold run, and, that, and that's when they won the prize, if they could get across the board in 60 seconds. 
Oh, it's such a great show. I used to love that. <laughs> Five o'clock on a weekday it was on, wasn't it? That's right, After yeah. the kids' TV had finished, Bob, Bob Holness and Blockbusters. We've always had that tradition here, haven't we, in England, where um, we have that 5 p.m. Quiz. Quiz, yeah. We have the chase now, don't yeah, we? Yeah, it's a and good I know, show. That, I'm pretty sure the chase must be in America as well. I think um, the chase is, I think uh, the Beast went over there, didn't he? Mark Lebet. I think he went and did his own sort of version of it over there, I think. Let us know if you've got the chase in, um, in the US. I like blockbusters as well, because they always used to do the, didn't they? The little dance, the audience. Do you remember that bit? No? I can't remember that, no. At the end, the audience, because he used to go, did 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 I remember the tune. I don't remember people doing that at the end. Yeah, the camera used to pan out to the audience and they used it to do that. It was a while ago though, wasn't it, Pam? <laughs> probably. No, I think you're good for remembering. Oh, well. I think it was about 20 years ago, probably, since. <laughs> so, with these odd cuts, then you can reuse them to then pop them in here. So, we're going to put this one into place. And it's just a case of building them up. Yeah, I get a really different way of using the um, using the cut, isn't it? Oh, Love totally, it. yes. Yeah, totally. So I'm going to use these two triangular bits that we cut off just to fill, oh, fill the gaps there. I'm not worried about that because, like I said about this glue, it rubs off, which is really good. So we can just do that and it all rubs away. It just sort of almost dries yeah. in your fingertips. You've got about 10 minutes left, I would say, if you want to get a comment in, if you want to stand the chance of winning on uh, this show, because we've got 20 minutes left. So, yeah, 10 minutes, any questions, any comments, and we'll do the draw for our two winners in around about 10 minutes' time. Uh, Facebook and YouTube, of course, you can comment there. Uh, and last chance to send in your pictures as well. I'm, I've been hearing um, in the background that we might have some more pictures to show you. Oh, excellent stuff. Love a, love a picture, love a picture. Uh, it's there you go. a nice cause, isn't Facebook, it, to, uh, to get the raffle. Goes to, good, um, to a good place and then a great prize. Oh, yes, yes, the raffle as well, of course. Yes, don't forget about that. The Bradley Lowry Foundation. Um, I don't know when the last chance to buy tickets for that will be, but I know we're doing the draw on the 23rd. It'll be, I, I guess it will be at the end of that show, the 4 o'clock show. So you've still got... What day is it today? 20, Sunday the... 20th, yeah, so you've still got three days to get your raffle tickets. Uh, for, how nice would that be to win that prize as well? Oh, blimey. Well, that's nice just come to me, present. Ben. It's actually Christmas this week. Yeah. Wow. It, what day is it today? Sunday. 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 The week starts on Sunday, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it does. The week and what day is Christmas Sunday. Day then? So Christmas. Christmas. Friday. Christmas oh. Day is Friday, yes. How exciting. Friday this week. <laughs> right, so I'm just trimming those off to size. So we've got all our workings going on there. Let me pop this back round this way. And then what I'm going to do is I've brought in another piece of card. So that will hide that bit. So actually, we didn't really need to put those pieces in. But once we pop this into place, that gives us all our workings there. And then what I'm going to do is bring in, now what I love about this one is look at all the different sentiments. So I've already done these just for time. We've done our B on our front and the back. And then we've got these extra elements as well. So these little sprigs, these leaves are actually your accessory die on here. So they're really handy. And then we will, um, we've got our stamps to stamp all those. But what I love about all these stamps, I'm just gonna bring these in and we're gonna apply these to the side. Actually, let's pop this on the front there. And let's use our glue again. And there we go. Popping these back on onto the side. Again, it gives you that little bit of wiggle room yeah. just to pop that on. I thought I had a stripper card, but I can't find it to put down the side. So I'm actually, oh, I've just pulled that one off. There we go. And just rub my hands to get the glue off. It's a really cool effect, really different way of using um, the collection. I love it. Yeah, it's nice to just do something different in it, isn't it? Yeah. 
pop that on there and then we've got our bead to put in place but what I have done is I've stamped all of these so we've got be amazing we've got be happy and then we've got be you I mean how gorgeous are those sentiments so we're just going to pop them into place and then we will do our lots of nice comments coming in about the uh, this particular demo um, it's a really good idea, isn't it? But again, I, I, I like the demos for the fact that today, I think Debbie's kind of gone from something quite simple, the first demo that we showed you, to you know something like this, which is a, a little bit more um, technical, taking you a little bit yeah, longer. But absolutely. it goes to show you that you can do simple, but you can go a little bit more complicated if you want to, can't you? Oh, absolutely. And I think that's it, with the, especially with Crafters TV. It's one of the things that's amazing about them is we do amazing. That was funny as I just picked up that same word. Um, but uh, it's we give the education, Ben. So if you are a beginner crafter, uh, we can help all the beginner crafters with what we do here. But if you're an advanced crafter, we can certainly go along with all those extra um, and actually, saying all that, most of the tools that we have, which is all our dies and our stamps and our machinery, they're what make us expert crafters. It's not actually that any of us are any better than each other. We can all do amazing things because we have amazing tools. So everyone, even though this is a bit more of an advanced demo, everybody, even a beginner crafter, is capable of doing that because the shapes were there. So it's a, it's a, I just really like that about all of us. So what we're going to do now is, again, I'm just using my tape, but you can use your wet glues, which will give you a, well, I always say that, a stronger hold, but the tape pens uh, are, you know, they do have a really strong hold on them. Yeah. So What's the, um, Jenny just asked, I don't know whether this relates to the size of the die or the size of the card, but she's saying, um, uh, really creative with the B and the pattern. I missed it. What size is this one? I, I don't know whether you're asking about the size of the... Size of the card? Or the card. The size of the card is an 8 inch by 8 inch. So okay. 8 inch square. There you go. Hopefully that answers your question, Jodie. But you could make a... I've just done it on a big scow. And the only reason I did is because I wanted to get all those words in. Because I think having that play on words yeah. uh, is great fun. And it's very endearing, isn't it? By the time you get to the end, you know, you're saying be amazing, be happy and be you. Yeah. Uh, and it, you couldn't have nothing better in, uh, in this day and age at the moment. That's exactly what you want to be able to tell somebody. Yeah, very true. Very true. So I'm going to put my glue here and my glue here and I've been sort of going through the demos quite quickly but what you could do, I think I've got to the end of my glue pen there, oh, we've got a bit more, um, you could put some extra uh, pieces of card so you could use your card to go over here so let's just take this down and I'm just going to use that just to place on here but you could just use black card actually I've got some black card so I could have just used that oh it would have helped if I take my bead to it oh, <laughs> no. and it was going so well <laughs> let's go in fact I'm because that was saying to me you should have used your um uh your black card so what I'm going to do is we will just attach now that B to here and then I'm going to use a piece of black card Let's cut two pieces off and it just hides your workings there. So we'll pop that, just put another piece over the top to secure that in. And obviously you will have time to hide your markings better. Pop that down. You could even put another piece of card, just an eight by eight card and cut the aperture in again. Anyway. If you had like it, because you could obviously use, like you could make a bigger aperture with your, um, your nesting dies, couldn't you? Because it's uh, potentially you could, if you had a bigger aperture, could you put two characters on one? Uh, I don't think they would spin. Oh, uh, would they not? Yeah, I think there'd be too many in the sort of same aperture uh, piece. Um, but if you had a wider one, you could have two side by side, couldn't you? Uh, oh, oh my goodness. Why have we not thought of that before, Ben? You could have two, yes. I mean, they don't have to be so close together, but you could you could make a tall card and put one at the top and one at the bottom. Oh, yes. Yeah, you could do that. Or, or bed, if you've got a set of our nesting dies, our hexagon nesting dies, you could cut a smaller one and put and then the bee in that side as well. Yeah, I like your thinking, Ben. Oh. I come up with a good idea. That's unlike me. That's, yeah, it's very unlike you, Ben. I'm only joking. 
outrageous, <laughs> Debbie. That was very rude. <laughs> I'm only joking. I know Ben you has are. loads of lovely ideas. Oh, I can't wait mm. to tune in tonight, Ben, for your... That was a brilliant idea, having your... Have you told everybody about your Facebook Live tonight? Uh, I've met... I, I mentioned it a little, I'll, I'll give it another little plug in a minute, but let's appreciate your card first of all, because this Let is me great. Just, uh, give Ooh. it a bit of a spin round. I love the decoration there as well. Yeah, and that's with it, Ben. Yeah. That's the actual little die. Look how that's gorgeous. That comes with it. Uh, yeah, look at that. Whee! So, a beautiful. So, a really nice, cute little card there. Let's just turn our B round the other way. Um, I absolutely love this collection, honestly. And do you know what? The great thing of, of us being uh, live and doing these masterclasses is that we have got the ability to um, show you, you know, huge amounts of these collections as well. So Debbie's obviously done the demo with the uh, the cat, with the elephant. We've seen the demo, of course, just then uh, with the bee. But you get so much more within this collection. Of course, 104 elements. You get uh, all of the stamps all of the dies and those aperture dies as well. And let's just take you through, or if you want to go for them individually, you can do 7 dollars or 9 dollars and achieve for £13 or $16. Uh, but everyone pretty much going for the big bundle. You may as well, you're saving nearly £17, over $20 today as well, and you get them all. And don't forget, they're all interchangeable as well. You can interchange the characters into the different apertures, but you're going to get your beautiful butterflies you can see here. Um, so again, all of the uh, artwork, in the stamps to combine with these dies to cut out your characters and then pop into your aperture the butterfly comes with that beautiful little flower uh, hello beautiful friend dream and big there's the bee that we just saw a few moments ago and there you go you can see the little die there but um uh, Debbie just popped on at the end there just to kind of finish it all off. Be happy, be brave, be amazing, be you. Uh, and again, like I said, you could interchange all of the characters within the different apertures. Love our birdie, who again we saw just a little while ago in another demo. Debbie said loads of demos today. She could fit in loads in the last couple of hours. Uh, this little birdie comes with the envelope, a die. We've got the heart in there as well. And little stamp sentiments like sending joy, sending good thoughts, sending hope, sending love. Then there's the cat. I'll say it again, he's my fave, I love it. Um, and again, the great thing is, of course, the fact that you you know, you can get your pens into these as well. You know, it can become your cat, it can be a, a Tomcat, George Shell cat, Tabby cat, how, whatever you want to do, really. You can um, change it up each and every time you use it. Cat's got a goldfish bowl, of course, as the aperture. And then you've got the beautiful little fish to go with that as well. The dog did it, uh, looking perfect, porsome, feline perfect. Then we've got our little rabbit as well, hip hop hooray. Uh, thank you, this bunny loves you, uh, the sentiments that come with that. And again, all of the different dice to use with your stamps. Then we've got the dog in the doghouse, of course. Look at that, it's so cute. And the aperture is just brilliant, isn't it? So much fun, this collection, so much versatility. Um, those are your sentiments, again, that come with it. There's our elephant, very first demo that Debbie did right at the start of the show. You can see that um, with that beautiful um, balloon aperture and then the sentiments, celebrations, thanks, hugs, big day and surprise. And then the unicorn, which I know everybody will love. Uh, the unicorn comes with that rainbow die have a wonderful magical day and time are oh, these sentiments then it comes with that really cool uh, pennant aperture and as we said the fact that these are all interchangeable just makes them even more usable 47 pounds or 59 dollars is your price on this today loads of love for this collection lots of you going for the big collection lots of you going for the individuals as well uh, and lots of lovely comments coming in we'll have a look at those in just a second but let's just have a look at some more finished samples um with debbie because we've got plenty and that's the other good thing about these collections you know how much our guys have loved these for the amount of finished samples that we've got over that side of the studio and there are loads Loads. Uh, so let's have a look. Have you wound them up, Debbie? Have you wound them up? I know, I've been winding them up oh, yeah. frantically. Yeah, because it's no fun, is it, if you don't see them twirling. But there we go. Look at that. I adore this dog. I can't believe I haven't demoed it, but it really is quite a cute dog. Uh, I think this dog could be quite a few things, but it does look like a bit like a... Um, what's those poo... Like a... Um, oh, um, cockapoo. A Labrapoodle. Labrapoodle. Oh, no, not a Labrapoodle. What's the other one? Labradoodle. No, that's not what I'm thinking of. Cockapoo. Uh, lab cockapoo. That's it. Yeah. It's like a cockapoo. <laughs> get there eventually. They're very popular now. Yeah. Very expensive as well. You get yeah, a they are. Poo. Cool, yes. blimey. My um, uh, 
my daughter's sister-in-law has one, so uh, yeah. and, oh, he's just gorgeous. Take out a small really loan gorgeous, if you want to buy one of those. Yeah. Uh, so we've got the unicorn one. Everyone loves a unicorn. In fact, a unicorn is probably just as magical as snow, isn't it? Really, it's up there with snow. Yeah. Uh, on those big rainbows, it's just beautiful. So did we get any more snow pictures in? We didn't get no more snow. Oh, we'll have a look at those for the end of the show. Ah, uh, we're saving them, we're saving them. So the elephant is my apps. I just love that elephant. This one is great if you've got a new baby, whether you have uh, just want a, in fact, for a, a first, a second, third, fourth, fifth birthday. I mean, it's just going to look amazing. The butterfly is really pretty. The fact that you're getting a different shape aperture with every single one is amazing. And it's amazing value that we've got them on today. Yeah. Uh, I love the fact that you're getting a little embellishment with them all. So like we said before, these little um, grasses around here for the, um, for the bumblebee uh, just look so gorgeous use your marker pens use your watercolors if you want to get into alcohol marker coloring these are the ideal size stamps uh, to actually use because they're just going to look incredible use all your different colored uh, paper pads that you've got to decorate the papers in the back this one is ben's favorite with that yeah. cat and the goldfish bowl and just all i mean that cat looks proper perspex doesn't it yeah too? with all those fish just flying around him it's amazing so one more and and uh, show the little birdie one. I love this little robin one. So beautiful. Uh, just send love through the post. They will love these. I lo love them. So many lovely comments coming in as well. Thank you to you, um, Debbie. Lots of love for the last Debra, actually, with the, 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 the bees. Uh, Kathy saying, never would have thought of doing something like that. What a great tip. Um, Mary Beth saying, the background, a brilliant idea. Um, and Alison on Facebook saying, Crafters Companion, great for teaching us how to use our purchases. Um, Donna saying, I live in the United States, but I watch so much CCTV crafting shows that I've started using your slang words like cheeky. My family laughs. You don't use that <laughs> word over there, cheeky. Hey, eh? it's cheeky. Um, do we say it that much? Do I say cheeky? I don't know if I do. I've said it four times now, so there you go, cheeky. Now, uh, before we announce the winners of the competition during this show, Carleen, I'm so pleased you sent this in. You mentioned uh, this earlier on. So this is your um, necklace which lights up. And I think you said, I want to say you said it plays Jingle Bells or Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. Um, kind of want to hear that. Can you send in the video next? No, only joking. That is absolutely brilliant. I love that. Talk about getting in the festive spirit. That is what it is all about. Love that picture. Uh, Margaret has sent in a snow picture. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Um, there's been a storm. Real. I know, it doesn't, but it is. Where's that, Laura? Do we know where Margaret is? We're just going to have a little look. Oh, did not Margaret not say? M-A. Where's M-A? M-A. Uh, M-A. Massachusetts? No. Is it Massachusetts? MA? Is yes. Good guess, Ben. Well done. And wow, look at this next picture coming up from Anne. That this is like that looks like um like a canvas or something, like a canvas uh, painting. Well, I don't know about anything else, but that's great photography work, isn't it? I know. Awesome picture, Anne. That's Put that just on your wall. gorgeous. Um, Pittsburgh, PA. That one. Wow. Beautiful, I, Anne. That is what I, I mean. That is what I'd love to wake up to. Christmas morning. A little mm. bit of sunshine. Sunshine and snow. Just amazing. Well, thank you all for your um, pics. We thoroughly enjoyed those. Thank you for all your comments as well. Um, and lots of love for this collection. I've got to do the winners, haven't I? That's what I was thinking about. So the winners, all you had to do, of course, was comment during the show. And uh, we now have the winners to announce. So 20 pounds or $20 voucher to spend with us here at Crafters Companion. And the winner on Facebook is, oh, by the way, I, I do the drum roll, Debbie. Yeah. And then that's the winner. And then if you can go. Da -da! I'll do my best then. Okay. The winner is. Roxanne Gamboa. <laughs> and our second winner off YouTube is Sue Hints. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, there you go. So congratulations to Sue. Well done to Roxanne as well. Um, make sure you claim your prize by emailing just there. Prizes at craftscompanion.com. 
All right, and um, our guys will get in touch with you and we will get your £20 vouchers to you. Also worth mentioning, we did touch on it earlier on, we've got our um, winter sale, not summer sale, winter sale, 70% you could be saving, savings are up to 70%. So if you've got a bit of Christmas money you know you're gonna be getting, now is a good time to spend it. Or as I say, if you've already kind of blown your crafty budget this uh, month and you think, oh, I still wanna buy a few more bits and pieces, we've got deals of up to 70% off there um, and, and prices as low as a couple of pounds, couple of dollars so plenty of reasons to shop with us um, do have a look because there's lots on there as well and i tell you what talking about lots on there second chance sunday i want to say this is only like my th third sunday i think i don't know how i've never really ended up here on a sunday but um second chance sunday i think is going to turn more into a bit of a cartload show because we have let me just tell you got tons of stuff uh, second chance sunday i think all about bringing you some of our favorite products from the week and there have been lots of favorites some of our favorite deals some of your favorite deals and it's going to be a case of i think getting in touch if there's anything particular that you want to see um you'll have to get in touch and let us know and get ahead and shop on the web as well because there's so many deals on there um and also of course between four and six another chance to win i think i'm right in saying we're doing the um, competitions right up until christmas aren't we every show until Wednesday, and all you've got to do is comment. Are we good to you or what? I mean, seriously, seriously, 20 pounds or $20 to spend with us at um, Crafters Companion. So, that is your lot. Debbie, thank you so much. Thank you, Ben. Should we do it again in an, an hour? hour? Yes, <laughs> let's do it again. Uh, we will be <laughs> we will be back uh, in an hour's time. Uh, give Debbie a bit of time to uh, open her Baileys, and uh, no, we're not gonna do that, are we? No, we're not. Uh, Debbie and I will be back with you in an hour's time. So uh, get yourself a little drink um, and we will see you for second chance. Not that sort of drink. Uh, get See you for second chance Sunday uh, in an hour's time. Bye for now.